Hi everybody, welcome to Fit Diaries. I'm very late this week. In fact, I am so late that I'm into the following week. <laughs> I just didn't get a chance to do the Fit Diaries. I was away all way all the time on Friday. And then I really just haven't known what to talk about. And I thought maybe this week I would talk a little bit about my challenges right now and how I'm feeling at uh, at this moment. So the way things have gone for me this year is that my planning in terms of when I had shows and photo shoots and things like that was kind of weird. Normally what you would do is you would plan your photo shoots around your show, you know, you compete once, maybe twice in a year and then the rest of the time you can relax a little bit because it takes a lot of focus to keep yourself lean enough for photo shoots and lean enough for shows all the time. And with all of my injuries and my illnesses and things like that this year, I haven't really had a break. I started on prep for my first photo shoot of the year in January. So right from the beginning of the year, I pretty much have had an event, either a photo shoot or a show, every four to six weeks. That means I've never had the chance to really have a break and kind of go sort of off season for a little bit, which basically just means expanding on my food choices again, incorporating some foods that I haven't been able to have in a little while, um, eating more food and shifting my focus from staying lean to building muscle. I just haven't been able to, to do that and that really gives you, gives you a break both mentally and physically. And on top of that, I have been changing my personal training business and working on expanding um, my business into a new territory and uh, a different like in-home training as opposed to being in a gym which is what I've done before so I've had a lot on the go and it's been very difficult and I am having no I would I don't want to say I'm having trouble with it because I know that I can handle it but it's tough there are nights when I just pack it in and go to bed early because I'm so exhausted um, from just doing it all. It takes a lot of mental focus to be able to stick to that diet and I kind of find, I always say that you, everybody needs an outlet somewhere. So whether you have that outlet by going shopping or doing this or doing that, you, I, I can't restrict and really be really following everything detailed to the letter with everything all the time and I found that that's kind of been what this year has been so far all year and had I not had the groundwork of my previous setbacks and my meditation and learning to care for myself and go easy on myself when circumstances require it I think I would have been in a much different place right now as is I'm tired I'm ready to be done with prepping for photo shoots and be done with shows for a little bit and just focus on building my strength back up building some muscle back up and kind of shifting most of my energies from staying lean and you know being photo shoot ready to some other things that I want to work on building my business and you know my personal training career and things like that I'd like to shift my focus a little bit and I just I just can't right now I don't have that much mental capacity to, to focus on everything all at once so I'm feeling tired and I'm feeling a little bit worn down with it but I'm kind of at that point where it's only a few more weeks until actually it's less than two weeks now until my next uh, couple photo shoots are coming up so it's just kind of at that point where I worked so hard for so long this year things are going well my body's feeling good things are tightening up and I feel good I feel like I'm going to be really happy with the photo shoots that are coming up so I'm kind of balancing that logic with the fact that I need a break and I need to relax a little bit in terms of my diet and the intensity of the workouts and working out six days a week you know I it's about that time that I know that I need a break and that's normal but I'm not at a point where I can necessarily do that just yet. In case you're wondering, that's my cat behind me. It's not a raccoon <laughs> or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just ready to kind of shift my focus a little bit, but I'm not at the point yet where I can do that. I just have to hang on for a little while longer, 
rock these photo shoots, which I am excited about, even though I'm tired, and uh, go from there. So I've been just focusing on that, just kind of taking it one day at a time right now and just getting through and doing what I know I need to do. And sometimes that's the best way to do things. And it's not always about the big vision board and looking for the motivation and the big grand scheme of things to motivate yourself. Sometimes it's just about knowing what you need to do, taking things one day at a time, making sure you're getting enough rest, and trying to enjoy it along the way. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at right now. And uh, if you guys can relate, please leave me a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. And uh, let me know if you've ever kind of gone through the same thing. I'd love to hear your insights, how you sort of get your nose to the grindstone and just get through it when things are getting tough and you're kind of ready to be done with it for a little while. So that, that's me for now. Have a great week, guys, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.